Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's been so long since I last posted something. I can't even remember how long it's been. Um, but really the reason for that was that last year just ended up being a really crappy year for me. And I didn't really achieve any of the goals I set myself at the beginning of the year. So I didn't really feel like I had anything to share. But times have changed. Um, I'm starting this year feeling very positive and very keen to make changes. And one of the things I thought I would do in order to achieve some of that was take part in Ali Edwards' year-long One Little Word project. Um, a couple of years ago I had a life motto which was choose joy and I had a really amazing year um, and I kept referring back to that motto all the time and asking myself, am I choosing joy? And so then when I found out about the One Little Word project, it really inspired me to choose a word and try to live up to that word this year. So the word I've chosen is flourish. I was originally going to go with grow because there are lots of changes I would like to make in my life. Um, lots of areas for self-improvement, for me, for my family. But then somebody posted on Facebook the definition of flourish and I read it and it just sparked my heart. And I could really visualize throwing off all the drama of last year and just seeing myself bloom back into life, I guess. So I thought what I would do is film this video to tell you what my word is, show you the supplies that I have purchased, uh, share my setup of my album and also my January prompts which I've completed. Um, and my intention going forward is to post every month or so the prompts that I've completed. Um, it's just another way for me to hold myself accountable to actually completing this project. I haven't purchased that many supplies. Uh, predominantly I'm using um, Ali Edwards digital kit which was included within the cost of the course and then I'm just using other supplies that I have because I have a tendency to hoard things because they're beautiful and not use them which is ridiculous. So for January I have used some papers from a Felicity Jane kit um, that I have but hadn't used at all. Um, so with all that said, let's get on and look at the beautiful crafty stuff. So the supplies I did purchase were the album that goes along with the kit. I chose the pink one, but I also loved the um, grey option. Um, it was a tough choice, but I live in a house full of boys and I need as much pink in my life as I can get. So I ended up going with that one. I also purchased the three by four transparency cards um, and I've only got two or three of those left there, but you'll see the rest when I flip through my album. I bought the three by eight, the story pad and down the bottom it says, one day at a time. I also purchased the six by eight take action pad. I got this on sale and I don't know if she has any more of these left, but the quality of this paper is magnificent. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and I wish I had bought another one of these because I love this pad. The last thing I bought was the um, tags, uh, which I'll just quickly show you. It's 
says note to self on one side and then working on me and there's a grid there where you can do some journaling or stick a photo. Oops. We tell ourselves stories in order to live with building my life on the reverse. Keep moving forward with progress, not perfection. And in progress with believing I can. And that is all I bought. So let's look at this album. Oh, I lied. Um, these transparency dividers I purchased as well, but all the page protectors that are in here came with the album. I don't think I've added any to it, although I may. So anyway, I start off with the January transparency divider. Um, I printed out the prompt card and wrote flourish. And I also have the make it happen transparency. I made um, this card in word swag to include my definition. And I also use word swag to um, include a quotation that I liked. I've got the journaling card from Ali's kit with the words or the things that I'm inviting into my life this year. I made um, this envelope out of the Felicity Jane kit that I had because I wanted to include a letter to myself. It's quite personal though, so I really didn't want it on show if anybody was flicking through the album. Um, so that just seemed a good way to include it. Um, when Ali sent through the January prompts, she included this quotation, which is, the thing that is really hard and really amazing is giving up on being perfect and beginning the work of becoming yourself. And I thought that was beautiful. I really wanted to include it. So I printed that on some vellum um, to include, mainly because the album itself only has about a one inch spine and I was a bit concerned about bulking out the album. So I thought if I just printed it on vellum, it wouldn't take up too much space. I have a photo of me there with my cup of tea. And then I made this three by eight card um, using the digital kit so that I could uh, reflect on the month. So this I've just filled in today and it's really about what I've learnt this month. Um, yeah. This, um, I need to staple this flower down, it's actually meant to be over here. This is the year ahead um, prompt sheet that Ali included and it includes questions which are, in what ways is my word already part of my life? What do I want more or less of? What do I fear most in the coming year? And what am I most excited about for the year ahead? And so those are all my answers to those questions. And then the last thing I've got in here um, is my intentions for the year. How I'm intending to incorporate flourish into my life. And this paper here is from the Felicity Jane kit. And then I just um, made these little circles um, on the computer and printed them out and then just stuck it all down, basically. Um, I'll go through and show you what else I've got in here. It's not a huge amount. I've got the divider for February. I've included the Yes transparency and I made this card from the digital kit as well. Um, and this I have just done again today and um, I've written about what I'm focusing on this month. Each month I'm trying to focus on a different area of my life. So last month 
it was about incorporating exercise into my life on a daily basis. This month, it's about nourishing my body with good, whole, healthy food. The other thing that I have done is I have printed off this story of this month journal card, which is where I will write um, my reflections for February. And I'm intending that I'll probably include um, a couple of photos here, I guess. Um, I do know that the prompt for this month is going to be about making a vision board and I've got some ideas of how I'm going to do that. But I don't get the prompts until the 1st of February, so um, it will be interesting to see what Ali's lesson says. Um, got the March transparency. Again, there is another transparency card in there. I've got a couple of page protectors. April's transparency with a couple of page protectors. May, I've got another transparency card in here. June, um, I again have the transparency card in here. And June is about looking at the progress you've made, which is why I chose to include that one in June. There's a couple of page protectors there. July, this transparency says take action. August, September, another transparency. October, November, and then lastly, December. And again, I've got a transparency in there. So I really don't have a lot in here at the moment. There's not a lot of forward thinking because until I get the prompts, I don't really know how I'm going to interpret them um, and how I'm going to incorporate those prompts into my album. But I'm certainly very, very excited for this project. Um, thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it and would like to be notified when I post other ones about this project, please subscribe. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Bye.